So, Kenny, we were here on One Tree Island about two years ago, and uh, we noticed from geochemical measurements of the seawater that the reef was dissolving at night. And so uh, you set about to study possible right. factors that might be causing yeah, this. Well, when we were observing, we, saw, we noticed that there are about a lot of sea cucumbers at the area, so, and we knew that the basic, the basic physiology, because they're basically engulf calcium carbonate uh, rubber and just this goes through their gut system. Wait, you said calcium carbonate rubber? Rubber. Rubble. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Grains, uh, sand and stuff like that. that it has a bunch of... Uh, it's coated with organic matter that they basically eat this organic matter but uh, at the same time because the gut is a little bit acidic so they have the potential to dissolve calcium carbonate and so we were wondering because the population was so dense when we were wondering if they could have some sort of effect on the calcium carbonate uh, budget there. And we were, frankly, we were very surprised to see that their effect is much greater than anybody expected or knew about it. And it, once we budgeted for an entire day, we, we calculated that they have a potential to to attribute up to about 50% of the calcium carbonate dissolution at night, which, as you can imagine, it's a big, uh, it's a big part of the reef calcium carbonate budget. So, did you come to One Tree Island planning to do this experiment? Mm -hmm. uh, how did you do this uh, work? No, no, that's that's work is actually, it's a lot. Let's say it's some scientific experience or from previous work, but it's also a lot of luck because there was another group who was from Maria Burns' lab that was, is, there are experts in sea cucumbers and they actually did the collection for us and we did the geochemical incubation and calculated the, uh, the fluxes of calcium carbonate. And yeah, and they also did the, for us uh, this, uh, the, uh, the ecological survey to understand how many, to quantify the, the number of sea cucumbers in the area there. And yeah, and that's, that's actually, a, and very nice interdisciplinary approach with people who come together and figuring out a common question. And I think it's a beautiful approach. I actually like the paper. <laughs> no, I really do. I like it. It's, like, it's, it's not something that's planned. That's something that only can happen on an island. And when you actually find and introduce yourself to interesting people who actually will listen and talk and get an idea and Basically, the incubation was so simple, we didn't need to organize anything, we had everything on site. So it's bringing together some biology and geochemistry yeah. to uh, understand yeah. processes that might be important for global change. Yeah. So, the uh, one big concern about uh, this reef is that carbon dioxide emissions is leading to ocean acidification and uh, that might cause the reef to start dissolving, perhaps even within a few decades. And, and uh, so one question is uh, whether the amount of dissolution caused by the sea cucumbers is going to increase as ocean acidification increases. Do you think there's anything that could be done to uh, investigate that? Yeah, we, we, did a f well, do we did it this time, we did a follow-up to actually answer this question, but my basic belief would say that the sea cucumber gut is a biological uh, control system, so probably ocean acidification won't affect, won't change the, the their, their ability to dissolve or not this uh, calcium carbonate, but you might think of a reef itself growing less and they still doing the same, the same amount of calcium carbonate dissolution, then the reefs might be consumed a bit. Of, uh, more than today. So uh, you think that these sea cucumbers control the chemistry inside of their digestive systems, uh, mm -hmm. but that uh, as the reef grows more slowly, the relative importance of this digestion yeah. would get bigger. Yeah, I think that's that's true. But uh, yeah, preliminary result today that we have from this one does see that they probably are calcifying le uh, less, but I have still to analyze to do a full analysis of the data. So. Well, we'll look forward to that analysis, and I'm sure it'll pe appear in another paper. So we'll look That's forward to that also. Wonderful. Yeah, okay, thank so you very much. Thank you.